I'm able to confirm to you all now that a short time ago we found the remains of what we believe to be Colleen Adams. Um, she was in the area indicated to us um, and discovered uh, about one hour ago and we've made the necessary notifications um, since then. It's going to be some time before we can make a formal identification um, but we are proceeding on the basis that the remains are those of Kay. The detectives and forensic people will be here for the rest of the day and we're hoping that we'll be able to complete what we have to today and return to Adelaide and in the coming weeks we'll be making many more inquiries in the York Peninsula area. I'm happy to take some questions. Um, the daughter Kay has um, just arrived here at the scene here. Uh, you know, if her thumbprints are cut, tell us that that's fine. But what's she doing while she's here? She, who's she meeting with? What, what's she saying? Um, Kay asked if she was able to come and meet um, those investigating and trying to solve um, Colleen's case so that she could speak to the investigators and forensic um, people personally. Um, and also to um, visit the scene uh, now that she knows what's happened and um, that's something that she wanted to do and we've been happy to oblige her with that. Has she, um, can you describe to us a little bit about um, you know, what it was like for her to step into the house and, and um, connect with her mother? No, I, I wouldn't try to speak for her. That's, you know, that's a matter for herself and their private things with her, but it was obviously very important for her to come here knowing what has happened and to see what is taking place and to thank all those people who've um, been involved in the current investigation. What's the next step for police now? Um, we'll try to complete the forensic examination today. It's being slowed a little bit by, by the heavy clay. That's delaying us a little bit uh, in the process, but we're still hopeful we can finish today and wrap up here and restore the house sufficiently so that the tenants can move back in. And then in the coming weeks, um, we've got a lot of investigation work to do and it's, it's very much the start of it uh, now um, uh, to bring together a very comprehensive brief for the DPP. Can you give us an idea, just the details, the, the time of the discovery this morning, the depth of the discovery as well? Um, the remains were found about one hour ago um, and in the time since we had notifications we had to make to family people and the, and the coroner. Um, and She's basically in the area fairly close to where was indicated to us yesterday. Can you confirm, I guess, what, what I, I can understand that you might not be able to say this, but what exactly has been found? Um, the, the skeletal remains, which we believe are most likely Colleen. Uh, in the court hearing uh, a short time ago, I think prosecutors, um, the information has been passed on from the reporters in court, uh, prosecutors said that Jeffrey Adams has uh, I'm not sure what's transpired there, but he cooperated fully with us yesterday. Um, for police, the, the moment that you can find, finally tell these family members that, that 45 years on, that you've been found? Yeah, it, it was very satisfying to be able to solve any case, but especially one like this. Um, those families and the people impacted by this and the community here, um, they've been waiting 45 years to know what's happened. And sadly, some of those people uh, Kay and co close uh, family members have had to live with a lie for over four decades that their mother had abandoned them, which simply is not true. So everybody involved in this case in the community, um, family and friends of Colleen and the suspect all have a lot to process um, and get their head around.